Following the popularity of my last aerial look at the Florida East Coast Railway's yards in New Smyrna Beach and Fort Pierce, I thought I'd provide another, more in-depth look at each yard. We'll start in New Smyrna Beach. The New Smyrna Beach Yard is home to the FEC's primary mechanical shops. Most of the major repairs or inspections that are necessary on any of the railroad's locomotives are completed here. While it is not a very busy yard, it is the collecting point for local traffic from industries between Cocoa and Daytona Beach, including the Titusville Intermodal Ramp. Local 910 is also based out of this yard. To the right of the paved area, those tracks are used for storage and for the rock transload operation that a customer operates out of the yard. The most notable equipment being stored here are these four ST40-2s, which I'll talk about later in this video. The tracks I am flying over now are where setouts and pickups are made by the through trains, along with cars for the local. All of the intermodal you see here is either destined to, or is brought here from, the Titusville Intermodal Facility, which is located about 35 miles south of here. These two brick buildings were built in the 1940s and are currently used for storage. These four SD40-2 locomotives in the FEC's Union Pacific based paint scheme have been in storage here since the GE ES44 C4s arrived on the FEC. Their arrival created a surplus of power for the railroad, so they are being stored until operations require them again. Currently stored are the 719, 708, 717, and 718. Four others had been removed from this track earlier this year to receive repairs and were sent to Jacksonville. What the railroad's plans for them are is still to be determined. In the back of the facility are GP40-2 439 and another SD40-2, the 715. Also on the track are two fairly old flat cars used by the shop. This building is a paint shop used for repainting locomotives. On the leads for the main shop building are SD40-2-711 and ES44-C4-818. Behind the building is ES44C4-813 and liquefied natural gas tender 308. GP40-2416 is on the wash track. The yard has a unique two-tank water tower. The top tank holds water, while the lower one holds lube oil. The building in the middle of the tracks holds a wheel drewing machine, which removes flat spots from the locomotive's wheels. As for the main shop, it has four tracks to go through the building. Here on the north end, there's a covered area with a pit providing access to the underside of equipment on any of the tracks. Inside there are overhead cranes and equipment capable of any kind of maintenance that could be required. Heading back to the storage track, this flat car on the end was specially built by the FEC to hold remote control equipment for locomotives. For many years, it was used at the Semex City Point plant to make any locomotives on the FEC capable of remote operation while the unit train there was being unloaded by Semex crews. A retrofitted Ortner hopper now fulfills that need. 
Next in line is an undercutter, which in simple terms, cleans the ballast under the tracks. It has an associated white support box car and a support flat car as well. The small, two-story tan building was the former home of the FEC's dispatchers that it is now used for training. GP40-2412 in the Group of Blue paint scheme was assigned to the local and was parked here. The other yard I flew over is the Fort Pierce yard. Fort Pierce is a fairly busy yard during the week, with several locals based out of it, and being the interchange location of the South Central Florida Express. Local 920 that is based here runs north to Melbourne and south to Port Sewell. Another local runs on the K branch that is just south of the yard to switch Tropicana and several other industries. You can see a cut of Tropicana reefers here. GP40-2416, which you saw earlier in New Smyrna Beach, had made it here in the week between these two flights and is assigned to one of the locals. Based on the amount of rock on the train, that is likely the consist for the 920. On this end of the yard is a small intermodal terminal. A variety of trailers and containers are loaded here, bound for Miami and Jacksonville, along with connections north via interchange partners. Also on the north end is the Rockla Concrete Tie Plant which is making all the ties for the Brightline double tracking project and New Line to Orlando. Ties are either loaded into gondolas or onto trucks for delivery out along the route. Parked here by the yard office is one of the last GP38s still in the going places in Florida paint scheme. And here is one last view looking south over the yard. Thanks for watching. Be sure to the like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.